Hi guys. As part of today's video, we are going to talk about SXS style guide. Uh, what is SXS style guide? How to install it? And what different options we get when we install this website? So before we do that, uh, let's just quickly search for style guide, uh, and then style guide. Sorry, style guide, and then we get to this link which is introducing the style guide by markamillis.com if you go to this link basically he has explained uh, the reason what basically made him to you know um, build this website he has also explained about uh, the installation how basically you know we can install it and from the resourcing perspective also what different details we have uh, we, are, uh, uh, we have on this website so all those things are explained here so uh, there are two options we can install SXA style guide uh, in our Sidecore 9.3 installation. The first way is it's a Sidecore, uh, it's just like a Sidecore package installation, right? That is already available as part of uh, um, as part of this release page here. On the release tab, you will find we have SXA style guide 1.0.3. So you can you know just download this one and then install it. Other option is uh, it is available as an solution where you know, we have. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, you know all those uh, sidecore items present in the form of YML files so it's up to you like how whichever option you want to take to you know make your site up and running with uh, style guide you can do that if you want to you know check some check the code you want to check few things on that then you can basically you know um, uh, use that otherwise uh, as of now for for uh, my reference what I have done is I have just used SXS style guide uh, sidecore package and I have just installed it just like any other package uh, we install so the op uh, you know installation step is pretty straightforward just download this one install it and then once you install it then you just need to uh, rebuild your indexes SXA indexes and once you rebuild your SXA in once you rebuild your SX indexes, uh, then what you get to see here, let me just refresh it. Uh, so if I go to content editor, so this is what you get. Uh, you get a sidecore uh, tenant item here. Under sidecore tenant item, you, you see style guide uh, site. And if you expand the style guide site, let's go to settings. Click on site grouping, click on that. So normally, if you have installed your Psycho 9.3 installation for the first time, then you know you can just ins uh, uh, you can just run your style guide site by uh, you know putting that host name and then your virtual folder style guide. But in this case, you know what I have done here is uh, I have given a different host name for my style for my style guide website because the the base site I'm using for a different uh, uh, you know I have defined a different host name there so so that that was the reason you know I have I have given a different host name for my style guide site and then as it is based on the virtual folder so you just need to use this host name along with your with the virtual folder and it runs based on your master database so you know we just need to this is the same host name and then your virtual folder and you get to see this website so from the installation perspective it's pretty straightforward uh, very smooth and very fast nothing nothing complex over there so once the installation is done uh, you know then you get to this page this is the home page and uh, you know we have different options we have features components resources search and about menus <coughs> so before we go into uh, the feature and component because these are the two important things uh, we get here so uh, the idea behind sxa style guide is you know that uh, it, it's a website which is based on SXA end to end, you know, where we get to see the different feature set which are available to us and which are shipped with SXA by default. What different components we have there, right? So, these are the things you know, this website is trying to cover to basically, uh, to basically explain the concept of SXA in general. Uh, so let's say as an uh, to me for example you know I'm starting with SXA for the very first time and I'm not very much sure about what different options SXA provides you know because normally we, we have seen every second you know developer is saying you know they're using SXA and then these are the different things it comes with this is a uh, creative exchange and things like that but if if we want to check uh, you know a centralized location where we can get some information about SXA in general and what different you know um, how different things really works as well practically how it works because we know that there are different you know there are different components comes with sxa but how those come what are those you know what are those components how, which component supports you know um, uh, which component really supports rendering variant 
and how each component really works so those are those that kind of thing are not you know is something which is not very much clear and the information is also you know uh, not available for that so this uh, website a success style guide is trying to you know clear all those doubts whoever is having it you know it is trying to you know they have explained it nicely the different components different categories of component under each com category how many different types of components we have and how each component really works right so we'll we'll talk about this components later so so a success style guide another just one more thing to um, cover here is a success style guide is not only about the components which comes with a success its uh, components is one part of it uh, you know but there are other things also which SXA provides right so let's say multi tenancy so if you go to the feature set that's where you see here like components so component is one part of your SXA and then you have creative exchange then you have context switching you have multi marketing right then we have uh, uh, branding variants we have XDB integration site delivery workflow sticky notes so these are the different things these are individually not a component right because these are the feature which has been provided by SXA so uh, you know if you want to get some more information about the different features like creative exchange you know you can just go to this website go to click on features menu go to uh, go to creative exchange you know link and just click on that so once you click on creative exchange you get to see more details about creative exchange you know creative exchange is all about you know your parallel development you you basically give all your you know um, uh, assets so your front end assets or you in, in this form of zip file to your digital agency they basically you know work on the front end part of it you know they modify your css your js and then finally they package up it package it up they give you the zip file and then you uh, you install it so that kind of thing is explained nicely here on a very high level again i'll not expect so if you're expecting that just by looking into um, the style guide you will you will be kind of master in SXA so that is the you know that is I would say it's it's a wrong expectation because it is it will basically help you to understand the concepts in general what different things uh, SXA provides right so that's where it will it will help you it will not may it will not help you to be master in in a specific uh, you know a specific feature so yeah so if it you know we took an example of creative exchange so you know it is talking about the export process how really it works then what different things we can do offline and then finally the import process so likewise we have other f um, features also uh, multi marketing because SXA is based on multi tenancy right it supports multi tenancy so they have explained like what is multi tenancy how you know how multi tenancy really works in in SXA so those kind of things uh, you know they have tried explaining uh, using multi marketing feature we have other features as well like XDB integration then we have rendering variants so if you go to uh, XDB integration so here you see like all of our components are XDB ready which means the component which is shipped with SXA by default it's all uh, XDB ready which means it supports personalization it supports AB testing it supports multivariant testing because mostly all the components are data source driven right so that way it uh, you know um, it makes it possible for us to basically apply personalization apply AB testing and then apply multivariant testing so those are you know some of the things uh, uh, you know we do with the uh, it, it has been provided by SXA. Uh, likewise, we have we have page designs, we have partial designs. So these are some things, uh, you know, some of the features which are you know kind of uh, more. You know, you get to use more. You know, you normally in your day-to-day -day life you will use more more of your page designs and partial design. These kind of things. So they have tried explaining what is page design, partial design, what is drag and drop editing. So all those things they have tried explaining from the features tab. Then if you go to the component menu here components they have grouped all the components into different categories like we have composites we have context we have engagement maps media navigation so these are the different categories of uh, components and if we click on a specific category like navigation so navigation is a is a you know component category and under this category we, we have different kinds of components uh, you know archive is one one component then we have breadcrumb we have a link we have link list then we have navigation and let's say if you want to get some more information about a specific component uh, from a navigation category let's say navigation here so in this case you know just click on whichever component you want to get some more details and then you get to see you know uh, more details or more information about that particular component so similarly you know um, navigation is one part of it and you if you want to get some more information about different other components so all those things you know you you get to see 
then uh, they have uh, from the feature set you know they have also tried explaining the rendering variants like what is rendering variants and what different you know from the from the presentation perspective these are the different rendering variants we have you know just image and title so if you see here you know small thumbnail variants right so we have small thumbnail variant uh, then we if you go down then uh, we see here you know thumbnail with title and description variant so we have a we have a variant which has you know uh, title and description also so these are the different things you know uh, they have tried explaining with example how it really works also uh, uh, if you go to the resources uh, page here basically they have made available you know normally if you want if you want to get some more information about SXA so these are the guys who actually you know talk more you know they you know, they talk more about SXA so it's you know uh, it is easy for us basically to reach uh, to these guys via you know community channels like slack stacks you know stack exchange things like that so what different you know modules it comes with from the in official site code information you know these information basically it's all about the SXA resources they have put everything in one page e-learning what are the official e-learning sites they have so ap apart from that you know there are other sections like uh, aggregate facet filter find the component search for any page you know those result boosting so I would say in general I would say is you know this is uh, this is really great for uh, for someone who is you know he is trying to look for information at least on a high level uh, to understand uh, you know the platform in general on a very high level again and to understand the different features it comes with and how how is each feature is actually working because we don't we know that these are the different kind of features or different kind of components available as XA but how each component really works right so that that kind of information is not there anywhere at, at the moment so that is what you know as XA style guide is trying to um, um, to help like basically for every component we, we can find some information and how it works and then from the different feature sets as well and it also has an information about you know user documentation if you so if you just want to see some user um, information about the site, site code experience accelerator you can just click on this and you get to land to your, uh, that page then we have a developer documentation also so I would say you know this is uh, this is great resource uh, and this is really helping uh, me I'm really liking it and I'm pretty sure even you will like it because you know this this basically gives you end-to-end -end information about SXA and uh, yeah I, I think this is you know this is something which is re really great so this is what I just want to cover as part of today's video so that you know everyone is aware that we have something called a style guide and it is it is not like an habitat site where you see where you you step you know you expect it like to work like a complete website it basically a platform uh, which is trying to you know which has showcased us different features of SXA and different components of SXA it's not a complete website you know so you can basically let's say if you're working you're working with a client and then you basically on a client pitch and then you get to see some requirement from client so that you know that uh, the feature set which you which you get from your client you know you can quickly validate uh, if you have this style guide installed in local then it will basically help us to validate it that the feature set which you have received from your client as a requirement those features are really supported by SXA or not or maybe partially it is supported or it is not at all supported right so that kind of thing uh, it will really help you to understand because now you see everything in action right at least you will get 50 to 60 percent of the idea right so before that you just need you know before that uh, you you just had um, you know some links that you know these are the different components which are available but now you have a visual representation also of it that okay we have all this component and this is how each component really works so if you want to you know uh, just validate the client requirement with what is provided by the XA, then it will basically make your life also easy so I think it is really great so yeah this is what I just wanted to cover as part of today's video and I hope you liked it and um, th thank you all thank you thanks a lot